We have 12 years of body wash just sitting in the kitchen, and my mom's coming to visit. I think we need to do something. In the United States, adults between 55 and 64 use more coupons than any other age group. But college student Tyler is an extreme couponer, and he's only 20 years old. My name's Tyler, and between schoolwork and partying, I still have time to coupon. My favorite part of the whole thing is the checkout. It gets your heart beating, you're kind of fist pumping in your head. You should see the price start to go down. I will not just go in and get two of something. I'll get 60, 70 of that item because I know I'm gonna use it. I love cheap shampoo. Let's take 20 of them. With an allowance of $100 a month from his parents, the Indiana University junior struggles to cover both his grocery and social expenses. It's pretty hard to live off $100 a month when you're in college, and I don't have a job. I have always been a shopaholic. It's kind of been a bad part of my life. A lot of the money my parents give me goes to shopping. What drives me in couponing is just the saving of the money. But saving money is just one reason he coupons. Tyler also wants to show his mom that despite his shopaholic tendencies, he can be responsible with money. My mom, she's always been supportive of whatever I do, so I know she'll definitely be supportive of me saving money, I hope. Tyler has proved that he can save money by building a stockpile valued at about $1,500, which includes 22 boxes of cereal, 35 bottles of laundry detergent, 74 body washes, and 92 packages of pasta that has completely taken over the kitchen he shares with his roommate, Dara. Tyler sacrificed space in the house for sure, like the kitchen, like we couldn't get into our fridge for a while. All of these sports drinks I got for free. The pasta, free. All of these mouth rinses were free. Air sprays were only 25 cents a piece. Today, Tyler's mom is coming to visit the apartment for the first time since he began couponing, and he wants to make sure to impress her with how far he is stretching his allowance. He has taken some of his savings and invested in industrial shelves to organize his stockpile. OK, we have got to get all this under control before my mom gets here. Oh, I don't like this. It's making it look like it's getting worse as we're doing it. Woo! We have a kitchen! You're talented. <laughs> looks a lot better. Yeah. Tyler has excess storage space now that everything is arranged neatly. Since he wants his mom to be amazed when she sees the stockpile, Tyler needs to fill the rest of the shelves. To do this, he will have to pull off his biggest haul ever. OK, Dara, you ready to prepare for this shopping trip? Yeah. Each week, we try to get about 15 to 30 inserts. We get inserts sent to us from my aunts, my mom, our friends. On today's shopping trip, Tyler is bringing Dara along as he attempts to purchase over $300 worth of groceries for less than half of his monthly $100 budget. Unlike most extreme couponers who have to break up their purchases into many transactions, Tyler intends to buy 280 items using 160 coupons in a single checkout. My store doesn't have a limit on coupon usage or doubling, so I always just do one large transaction. We just got to the store. I'm super excited. We're building up my stockpile as big as we can get it so my mom will walk in and have her stocks blown away. First up on Tyler's list is a popular item in his and Dara's house, drink mix. They're 4 dollars usually, and today they're on sale for $1.69. And then I have a dollar off coupon, making them 69 cents. Next up is laundry detergent. Even though Tyler has an 11-year supply in his stockpile, he can't resist getting more of his favorite grocery item. These laundry detergents retail for $3.99 a bottle. Today, they're on sale for $2.39, and I have a $1 off one bottle coupon, making each laundry detergent only $1.39. This one makes year number 12. Boop, boop. The final item on Tyler's list are a staple of any college student's diet, frozen dinners. After a store card and coupons, each one will only be 18 cents, so Tyler is getting as many as he can to fill his empty freezer. We need 64 of them. Keep on stacking. Just one more. Timber! Yeah! Woo! 
After three hours of shopping, Tyler and Dara have filled their carts and are finally ready to check out. Feeling pretty good about checkout. We are here all the time. We never have any problems with restrictions. Hello. Hi. How are you today? I'm great. How are you? I'm very good. Have you ever had someone come in with this many coupons That's ready? That's a lot of coupons. <laughs> yeah. Are you familiar with our coupon policy? There's a limit of 10 like items redeemed in one shopping trip. Okay, you can't have more than 10 like items in a shopping trip. We're gonna have to go change out first these pastas. We're gonna have to make sure all the body wash shampoos are different. We will be back in a okay, second. Okay, I'll be right here. This is awful. It is the worst feeling ever having to put stuff back on the shelves when you're getting it for free. Six. After rearranging and restocking his cart so that he doesn't have more than 10 of the same type of item, Tyler is once again ready to check out. He will now have to do multiple transactions in order to get the deals he had originally planned. We will be doing six total transactions, with the last one being the largest transaction with the most coupons. OK, are you ready for round two, Candy? I'm ready, yep. OK, let's start it off. Your total is 28.78, and do you have your plus card? Yes, I do. Thank you. And your coupons. There you go. This is your last coupon. Your new total is 838. What's going on right now, I'm ready to get through the next four transactions and then get to my big one, which should be a pretty large total, and then I'll hopefully I'll get it down real small. Total on this order is $10. I need your card and your coupons. $2.80. That total is $10. $10 is your total. There's my coupons. Thank you. $1.80. With only one transaction to go, Tyler has purchased almost $70 worth of groceries, but has paid less than $16. Despite his need to impress his mom with this haul, Tyler still wants to spend as little of his $100 monthly allowance as possible. If anything goes wrong with this final transaction, it could bust his budget. Usually I know down to the exact dollar what I'm spending, but right now it's all up in the air. Nerve rocking, sitting here watching the total go up and up and up. Your total's getting high. Do you have the money to pay for this? I definitely don't have that much money right now. Your total today is $224.45. I don't have that much money in my wallet, so hopefully my store card and my coupons work. Could I have your store card? Yes, you can. All right, this is terrifying me. <laughs> Start dropping. Dropping, it's dropping, dropping, dropping. Coupons. Your total after coupons is thirty-seven fifty-three. Boop, 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 yeah. Dad's right, Dad's right. Your total today was two hundred ninety-three dollars and twenty-three cents. You paid only fifty-three dollars and eleven cents. That's great. Yes. Yay. Thank you so much. Job. So excited. I know my mom is going to be so happy too when she sees that. Despite having to make emergency recalculations, Tyler's shopping trip was still a success. He managed a haul that includes 20 bottles of shampoo, 30 packages of pasta, and 60 frozen dinners. A total retail value of $293.23. But Tyler only paid $53.11 and 82% savings. Let's get out of here. We got to stock the shelves before my mom gets in town. All right. Hey. Hey. You've heard so much about the stockpile. So what do you think about it? Oh, wow, Tyler. When you said you were couponing, I didn't expect anything like this. We got a lot of frozen dinners. Tyler is not the most organized or diligent person. And for him to be into extreme couponing is unbelievable. I'm very proud of him. When she walked through the door, she was definitely wowed. It makes me feel very good to hear my mom say those things. 